Hey, Bean Matt here, and I was looking at the news yesterday, and I thought about doing a video about it, and then I thought I made another one instead. But kind of an interesting topic, where Glenn Jacobs, the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee, went one-on-one, -on -one, as the title said, with the... Junior, Drake, Queen, Prade, or something along those lines. And basically what I think it is, is you have these young people who basically are dressing in drag and, you know, they're not even adults, I guess. And he basically put a ban out, and he's like, as long as I'm married, that'll never happen in Knoxville. And, you know, two things. First of all, I kind of expected that from Glenn Jacobs being a Republican and knowing what they're all about. So, there's that. There's also a point where I think that it's also freedom of speech. And I get it. Kids are kids. and People should not make the decision for them. But it's also, like... Mike Bennett put up a post on Twitter, I guess was applying to Glenn, and yeah, he said that my kids go to those Drake shows and they have a blast and all that stuff. And I, and I, I have some friends who have been a part of Drake shows and all that stuff. I'm not into it myself. I just feel like it's just a freedom of speech not just like anything else you know and you don't hear about it too much sometimes I do and I just I'm like you know what it's not my thing but if it's what others want then why am I judging you know and that's just the way I see it that's because you look at let people be who they are and I was talking to somebody the other day and my nails obviously are painted. He says, I pegged you as a man's man. And, you know, kind of right wing. And honestly, I'm, I'm nothing like that at all. In fact, I'm quite the opposite. There are some conservative parts of me, obviously, but I tend to look at it like Henry Rollins. He's a Democrat, but when you look at him, you can definitely look on him as a right-wing Republican. The guy who with big muscles, a punk rocker, and everything else. But when you also watch his shows, his speaking shows, you tend to find out that he's very much pro-gay and pro-everything else, which I agree with 100%. But... It's kind of interesting because people are obviously going to talk about it. Some people are going to bitch about it, but I think that Glenn Jacobs is, you know what, it's his choice. And if he doesn't want that in Knoxville, which I have no idea how big it, Knoxville, Tennessee is, but that's his choice, you know. Right or wrong that's his choice but I just thought it was kind of interesting because on one hand I know that he would be against the drag shows because of the fact that yes he's a Republican and all that stuff I don't know a lot of other Republicans that are the opposite but if, they are, if there is then prove me wrong just like liberals but, who knows? Anyways, for myself, I'm not too liberal. Not too conservative either. But, anyways, yeah, there it is. So, if you haven't watched my last video, check it out. Obviously, I'm not sure what's going on with the Saudi Arabia show, Crown Jewel. But, if it happens, cool. If... It does get cancelled. I don't know, but we'll see. 
Anyways, talk to you later. Bye. So you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly is not really. That's why he you know, took pleasure in cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, if you look at some of his earlier interviews, that he